It is a good day today. If we are going out, it is always a good day. Anil and Rajesh are always there to make sure that no one is left behind. It looks like everyone is here now. Let's go. Let's test the incredible India. It is great to get away for a while from the interesting and boring lectures that make everyone sleep in class and get to know more about India. We remember reading about the Baha'i faith, also known as the Lotus Temple. We are privileged today to be among thousands of people who come to visit this place. The only challenge here is that we are not allowed to go inside with a camera or shoes. All right then, shoes out, camera off, let's get in. Everywhere we visited, we saw the rich cultural heritage and beautiful architectural works of many historical buildings in India. Talk of the Red Fort, the Rajgat, the Hoamaha Palace of Wind, the City Palace, not forgetting the Taj Mahal, which is also one of the seven wonders of the world. It is indeed a marvel which competes well with the mighty Victoria Falls of Zambia. The Indian tradition is unique compared with other cultures of the world. English is the official language in India, but most people prefer using Hindi which poses a lot of challenges, especially when we go to Salojin and Nehru Place markets. Thanks to Dr. Mamita Panda, who taught us some basic Hindi language. It is also hard to bargain, but it's a game of win and lose. Life goes on. Let's take a train now and visit Dalamshala. After a whole night trip, everyone is tired and the place is very cold. Snow is visibly seen on top of the mountain. What a wonderful place to be. The DG71 scholars in the company of Anil and Rajesh decided to have an outing to just enjoy the mountainous natural environment of Dhanamshala. With a deliciously cooked goat meat, making the scholars to use their language of origin in describing how test it is. Mm. <laughs> It is time to get back to IIMC, our second home for now, away from our homes in our different countries. With no time, Holy India came. Now you know when they say Incredible India. This is what they mean. <laughs>